Hey, good morning. So I did it. I ate my toad this morning already and finished my cardio. And we have to get excited about the small victories, right? So today, um, I was able to complete a task on my treadmill that I have not been able to complete so far. And it's been very frustrating. So to give you a little backstory, I'm gonna turn a light on here. To give you a little backstory, um, prior to my illness and my stroke, I taught a couple of classes at and managed a local gym. So um, I was crazy into fitness and we worked out every single day and um, sometimes twice a day we ran together, we lifted together, competed in different events together. So then fast forward to my stroke. So after my stroke, um, I had lots of limitations and I was trying to adjust to my new life because I have some right side weakness and um, blindness, obviously that is going to be a little bit of a problem. So beyond that, I also had like 20 plus surgeries. So I was constantly healing and on restrictions and it has been a really long fight coming back from that. So I can't run on my own without assistance, but we have a really nice treadmill and it has different programs on it so you can hike and so um i can still get my cardio in with the adjust the um the treadmill automatically adjusts height and speed and it has different programs on it so one of these programs is this hike through the alps and never before have i been able to complete this hike um number one in the series without having to either jump off of the treadmill or um, change the incline like it would be on 15 and I'd have to lower it because I couldn't do it or I'd have to slow the speed down or both I'd have to lower the incline and reduce the speed so today this morning this very morning I completed that hike without having to get off of the treadmill, without having to lower the incline or reduce the speed. Now I know that that's like a crazy minor victory for some of you that are, you know, out there <laughs> running marathons and 5Ks, but for me, it's huge. Like I almost could cry, seriously. It's so, it's so dumb, but I'm learning thank you to um, some blessings left to me from this stroke. I'm learning to appreciate those little things. Um, and so today uh, I ate my toad, I did my cardio, and I completed something that um, a couple of years ago after my stroke, nobody thought I'd ever be able to do again. So it's a big deal to me, sorry. Hey, thanks, Amanda. I appreciate it. Good morning. So on a side note, I had mentioned in a previous live that we were getting ready to sell our house, which is um, huge because Joe had bought me a house in Claire, my, my grandparents' family home. So um, in June, we're moving back to Claire, which is another big thing because I will be back with my tribe, which I tagged in this video because... Um, they know better than anybody how far I've come. They worked out with me every day and ran with me and did all this stuff with me. So soon I will be back to them and we'll have that, um, that, uh, that feeling of unity and stuff that I get with those girls that I, um, that has, that I have not had out here in, um, Gladwin as I've been healing. So I'm ready to be back in the fold and, but I got to get in shape if I'm going to hang with those girls again. So anyways, back to the sell in the house. So what kinds of things would you look at when you are purchasing a home? Like we're trying to, I apologize. My dogs are playing in the background. See them? It's the morning wrestling match. Anyways, um, I've been trying to go around and like touch up paint and make things cute and you know of course clean really well because pretty soon people will be you know wandering through my house checking it out trying to decide if they want to buy it or not. So I need to know what are the things that you would be looking at. 
from Joe's perspective, as a man, he's looking at like construction stuff. Also, he's a contractor, so he's making sure that like things are caulked and trim is perfect and blah 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 stuff that I don't look at or really care about. I'm looking at from a female's perspective you know are things clean do does the layout make sense do the rooms look big um what am i missing what can you add to this that um, might help me better prepare for um showing our home so if you could leave any messages um to me about what you think I should be kind of focusing on, that would be great. I'm trying to, you know, like I've taken down all of our personal items so it looks homey, but um, they'll be able to picture their own things here. Um, I don't know. What else? To me, it's a fabulous home, but somebody else might come in and go, oh, why does she have, I don't know, that tile in here. I don't know. It's pretty general, like all the colors are like muted colors, nothing crazy. I don't have anything like, nothing purple or weird, but I'm just afraid, um, I'm just afraid that I'm not going to, that people aren't going to like it and we're not going to sell it. I really want us to sell it so I can be in Claire where I want to be so bad. Um, ooh, is the yard easy to take care of? That's a good one, Amanda. Um, actually, it's a huge yard. And for me, <laughs> it's horrible to take care of. But, you know, I'm blind and can't walk very good. So, but... Um, I do have some pretty flower beds. And um, we have a really nice bar on the outside. I don't know. Cool fireplace. But the yard, easy to take care of? Mm -mm. Not in my opinion. So, anyways, if you are watching live, hashtag live. If you're watching on a replay, hashtag replay. And remember today to take um, a moment to celebrate those tiny little victories. Like my hike through the Alps this morning. That was big. That was really big for me. Um, simple and probably means nothing to others, but to me, it was a really big deal. Okay, you guys have a great day. I will talk to you tomorrow.